Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome in. Grab yourself a cup of tea y'all. I have got an Amazon haul for you. There is a couple of things from Walmart in here. I'll let you know which ones came from where. And this is probably gonna be a long one, so get comfy. Let me clear this off and we'll get started. All right y'all, let's get started in this haul. I am drinking Georgia peach today. I'll move that over. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. So I turned them off so I wouldn't blind you with the tea can. All right, first thing we got is a tripod. It's gonna make it much easier for filming straight overhead with this thing. There's what that side looks like. There's that side. Can't show you the other side because it's got my address on it and I don't want to dox myself. So there's that. And let's see. Then we got a pencil sharpener. I'm on the hunt for the perfect pencil sharpener. But this is the F mat. I have been using it. And so it's dirty. <laughs> but it looks like this. That's got a, whoops, upside down. Pretty decent um, container for your pencil shavings. I am gonna do a video, a separate video on this to let you know what I think about this. But, so I got the F mat. And this one is the PS10A. And let's see. I finally got my second, <laughs> second bottle of the, what is this, lavender? Lavender stickles. They finally came. And then I got two, they're just green. And I'm buying these stickles, like I said in my last haul. They're like a dollar and 13 cents a piece. And I just scroll Amazon until I find a color I don't have. Sometimes I don't find any, sometimes I do. Then I got some storage things. Let me bring all these up here real quick. These also came from Amazon. There were eight of them, is that right? Yeah, there was eight of them in there. Very cute. The idea for these was um, I got some pencils that there's not very many pencils in the set. Did not want to buy a case for them, so I'm like, oh, I'll put them in little, cute little bags. The pencils don't fit in here, <laughs> but that's okay because I have used them for other things, such as little acrylic paints. These are not new, but now I've got a place to put these. So I'll show you each design. Both of these have uh, the acrylic paints in them. I am aware that the grammar is incorrect on this. I knew this when I bought them. It does not bother me they serve their purpose. But then we've got these two, and they all do have the same error on them, but that's fine. And then we've got these two. I've got goodies in these. <laughs> and then these two. But I have plenty of little things to put in them, so they will get some use. And I've got people that I can give them to as well, so we'll get those out of the way. And on my hunt for bags to keep pencils in, I got this from Walmart since these didn't quite work out. They're just not long enough for the pencils. Short pencils, yes, they'll go in there, but. So I got this, this is Pen and Gear. This was only a couple dollars and there's three of them in there. Let's take them out so we can look at them. 
Sorry for the crinkling. These are really pretty, like an ombre purple. The pencils will definitely fit in these. The inside's just white, and there's three different sizes. So I've got plenty of storage for little tiny things now. Put these, we'll move those over. And let's see, oh, here comes my furnace, one minute. Lord have mercy, I didn't think that furnace was ever gonna go off. We're back. All right, what am I gonna show you next? So unprepared. Okay, let's do this. I got some more gel crowns. These came from Walmart. These were like $5 on Walmart. So I snatched these dudes up. There's all the colors. And they come in a case like this, which is really nice. It's got little clasps over here. And you will see that this is dirty because I have used these and I was too lazy to clean it off. But I do like this case because I can use this to scribble them on and then take the, the brush. Really nice. But yeah, I've used the black one. And they're just like, I think that most of you have seen the King Art gel crowns. But yeah, I really like these for backgrounds. And they were the, you know, primary colors. So I snatched them up. gonna put this stuff. I didn't think that far ahead. Okay. What have I not shown you? We're gonna go back to the little bags because I do have things and I don't think I showed you the inside. I did get some Spectrum Noir Sparkle pens, markers. They're kind of like a Wink of Stella. And I've got three of those. They came in a three pack. They're really pretty. And I did swatch them one moment and I will show you how. Y'all ever start a video and think that you've got everything in place and you're all like got it all ready to go and then you start filming and realize that you didn't bring everything over you wanted. Anywho, these are the Spectrum Noir, and I can't tell. I think you should be able to see the sparkle in there. I find these a little more watery than Wink Stella. It does not bother me. I have not used these on any pages, but there's those. And then I did get a few more Wink of Stella. This also came in a three pack. They come like this in a three pack. And they are in here. So let's grab those out. And there's just a clear one. A red one. And a green one. I really like this clear. I use, I've already got one, and then it had two backups, so I didn't take the little black thing out of that one. Didn't see a reason to until I need to, but these I have, because you know you gotta prime these things, so I put, <laughs> I put them on the front of this coloring book. I think you can probably see all of the sparkly goodness in there. Set that over there. Oh, this is part of the haul, I suppose. There's a flip through of this book 
on my channel, but I don't think I had this the last time that I did the haul, because this came like at the very end of the month. So there's that. But yeah, see these little bags are gonna be useful for things like this. So I will get use out of them, even though I can't use them for what I originally intended them for. Let's see. We'll go for some books. I did get two Molly Jack The Art of Color books. I got Bones and Tones. And this is her newest one, Waves of Imagination. Let me move this tea out of the way and I'll show you a couple of pictures. And I am aware that this is AI, but that does not bother me. I like, I like the images. This one, the uh, the waves of imagination, they all have uh, black backgrounds, as you can see. And I will do a flip through of this on my channel. But yeah, I really like her stuff. And then this one's just weird. And if you have been around my channel at all, you know that I color some weird shit. So this was just right up my alley. And this is on like a cream color paper. This is not bright white, but like, yeah, it's very weird. That's very weird. But these are, the things I like to color so I really like her book she's got several but there's the books stepping back over here this is not as long as I thought that it would be I think maybe that's a good thing we're getting close I got the 72 set of Calor colored pencils. And they come in this trusty little case, kind of like the Sioux Colors did. And it's got this little spongy thing for the top to protect your pencils if you decide to keep them in here. I do not. I always put my pencils in a case. And so I got this case. It's just the standard pencil case. But here's the pencils, and you can see I have sharpened some of them because I am using them. I will do a swatch. I'm not going to do a review on these because I think that there's probably enough of y'all that's already got these and you kind of know how they work, but. I am really enjoying swatching my pencils, so I'm going to bring y'all along for that. But it looks like so far, I'm enjoying them, and it looks like they've got a pretty decent range of color. We'll see as I keep playing with them. But this set came with, to my surprise, a colorless blender. I had no idea this stuff was going to come in there and a white gel pen and this is a good white gel pen i've used it for one of my pictures but there's the pencils and i know that there's bigger sets of these but i wanted to try out the 72 set before i committed to any bigger set because if i hate them i don't need a huge set of them so far so good though okay the next thing are these Grayscale Special Edition Master Art Premium Grade 12 Colored Pencils. And let me see if I can open these. This is why I don't like to keep them in the, their packages. They're just too hard to open. I'm going to take them all out so y'all can see these. Sorry about the noise. Getting stuff on there. There we go. Look at that. They 
I'm gonna guess you're seeing that. They've got the, the name of the pencil on here and the master art, but no number or anything like that. And these feel really nice. And I've kind of scribbled around with them. I haven't really used them, but they feel really nice. This one got in a fight with my pencil sharpener. More about that in another video. But yeah, they, there's black, slate gray, dark gray, Van Dyke brown, rock blue, pretty, light gray, white, and white rock. Did we get all the way over there? No, we didn't. Mortar. Warm gray. Silver gray. Stark white. Are we starting over again? <laughs> okay, I think you get I think you get the picture. But yeah, these do feel very, very nice. They glide on the paper like butter. Very, very nice. I was pleasantly surprised about these pencils, and I'm not going to put you through the agony of me trying to put these back in here. Lord have mercy, here comes that furnace again. One moment. All right, I guess Mother Nature did not get the memo that it's spring, so come on, girl, get it together. I'm tired of that furnace. All right. Next thing is the Colorista by Spectrum Noir. Colored pencils, perfect portrait. I have not used these. I will be doing a swatch of all of these, you know. Um, I have sharpened them, and they sharpened really nice. But I think they're very pretty. They've got the color at the top. They're capped. The name of the pencil. The name way down here on the end, where it should be. There's no number, but, I mean, there's 12 of them. And they have several different sets of, like, landscape and you know things like that but of course you know I color a lot of people so I wanted to give these a try and I suppose if I really really like it I might get a couple of the other sets but yeah I think they're they come with pretty good portrait colors I don't know why it's almost every portrait set I look at of colored pencils. Why is there no purple? I always use purple in skin. So, there's that, but and then, last but not least, is this everything? I think this is everything. More skin-toned colored pencils by Mart Color. Here's the little swatch of them down here. There's the back. We'll take them out and have a look. And I did sharpen these as well. They just stood the sharpener. Looky there, purple. I can't see the number on that. Zero, two, one. But they have a, the number all the way at the bottom, which is very nice but they don't have a color name. And they're oil pencils. But this is a pretty good range for skin tones for me. Just look how beautiful they are. And they are round. That's my preferred pencil. They're kinda, she's a little thick, but I don't mind that. pretty good here. Oh my gosh, that's very noisy. And as you can see, they did take, they took a real sharp, 
sharpening there. So they withstood that. And I believe, y'all, that that is everything that I have got in the last several weeks. We got books, we got pencils, we got a sharpener, we got a tripod to put y'all on so you can see the stuff better. So there we are, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this haul. Uh, if you want links to any of this stuff, just leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to find the link for you. And with that, I hope y'all have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye.